alive. It's alive! It's alive! Hey gang, how's it going? Patrick here again. We are finally back with uh, part two of the two-part video on Andorian Kess. Before I start, word of advice, be very careful with software upgrades. Sometimes they'll bite you in the butt. Ask me how I know. You think I'd learn, don't you? Anyway, we are going to uh, pick up in this one where we left off with the last one. Uh, first, let's get a little business out of the way. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Tell your friends. Leave comments. That didn't work out quite like I was hoping it would, but what can you do? Uh, we are currently sitting at 86 subscribers. We get to 100. I embarrass myself in front of potentially dozens of people. I'll, I'll leave it to you to search through the existing videos to find out exactly what I'm talking about. With that over with, let's uh, get on with what we were going to do. Last time we were uh, discussing the Great House construction rules from the Klingon Corps rulebook for Star Trek Adventures and how they are almost though not quite perfect for also building Andorian Keths or clans. Those of you who played Last Unicorn or Deciphered know what we're talking about with these. They did not carry over into Star Trek Adventures uh, but many games feature them because we upgraded their legacy campaigns and we had Keths for years and years and years and there was no reason for them to suddenly disappear. One thing we discovered was that while the Klingon Great House rules covered most eventualities, they did not in fact cover all of them. Many Andorian Keths are business related or famous diplomats. A few of them are even famous for their spies. Those last three not well regarded in Klingon society. Certainly not going to create a major political unit built around them. So, if we're going to build Andorian Keths with the Klingon rules, we're going to have to add to them a little bit. So here we are. I may or may not change the names on the statuses. I haven't decided yet, but this is going to be the document that I have for my players if they choose to go this route. Here is where the big changes happen. You'll notice we've added businessmen, spies, and diplomats. So we've altered the legacy table a little bit. And the only one that I've really done any work on so far has been businessmen because one of my Andorian players, his character is from Keth Birov, which are engineers engineers are already represented. The other one though is from Keth Devoro and they are noted for their business acumen so I had to create a spot for them. Have not done the flavor text. Sorry. When I finish this document I'm going to post it on the web. I will share it with the fine folks at Continuing Mission. Uh, they're website is going to be linked uh, in the description for the video. Cannot recommend these guys enough. Massive amount of fan created material for Star Trek Adventures. 
excellent, excellent, excellent source of material. Once the uh, Keth document is done, I'll, I'll make sure to, to get that to them and share it with the world. In the meantime, I've set up the discipline that is increased by this particular legacy as command. Uh, business uh, figures prominently in social conflict, which is uh, based a great deal on command. Some of the sample focuses, asset management, business administration, negotiation, things of that nature, diplomacy. Had to come up with a couple of talents for the house's talents. Excuse me, the Keth's talents. I have the Klingon book open over here and I keep seeing the word house. Sorry. But the two that I've got here are I Know Things and Business Savvy. Before I go too much uh, further, however, one of the things that I am going to do to help preserve the flavor of the Keths is the focus that they get for the legacy. I'm going to create a small list and they have to choose from that list. You don't have to do this in your campaign. The rules in the Klingon core book do not call for it, but I think to help preserve the flavor it would uh, it would be helpful. So I've created a list here for uh, Keth Birev. They're known for their engineering, especially their railway engineering. So I've created a list of half a dozen uh, focuses that I think fit that theme. And I've done the same thing for Keth Idrani, which is the other Keth that we had uh, created in the last video. So there are the house slash Keth focuses for Keth Idrani. All right, so let's get on with creating Keth Devoro. Okay, so here is the framework for Keth Devoro. The status, I'm less concerned with what the status is than what it gives us at this point, which is why I'm considering reskinning and rewriting them a little bit, because a lot of the Keths are old. I'm going to say that Keth Devoro or Iconoclasts which gives them a plus one to their control and to their reason and here's where the new stuff starts coming in their legacy they are businessmen Now businessmen, as we just saw, get a plus one to their command. Now I showed you some of the samples that businessmen can choose from. Keth Devoro, they're businessmen, financiers, but they're also kind of known as partiers and drinkers. So some of their focuses I have chosen will reflect this.
So you've got the traditional business administration, but the less uh, traditional for business uh, owners carousing and streetwise. They're also known for their ability to mathematics. Quite a few uh, Andorians of Keth Devoro and Starfleet are mathematicians. Now, two Keth talents which were listed in the previous document which I will eventually uh, make available. They are business savvy and I know things. Now the Keth disposition it, it's a little less about what the words uh, in, in the Klingon book say as to the benefits uh, that it gets me for purposes of building this Keth. Although when I built Birev, uh, their traditional and unyielding kind of suited what we know of the, the temperament from the last unicorn supplement among the clans. I'm going to say that Keth Devoro is thoughtful and introspective. This gives us a plus one to control and plus one reason. Yes, we're doubling down on control and reason with this Keth. Now, because they're iconoclasts, the rules say that their reputation starts at a two instead of three. Their influence, might, and wealth all start at six, with six points to divide between them. And they're very concerned about influence and wealth. Much less so military might, because you can buy military might from somebody else. I'm going to say that that stays at a 6. They're going to very lopsidedly put their wealth at 10 and their influence at 8. And there we go with Keth Devoro. Pretty soon I'll have the talents and disciplines for spies and diplomats. Spies almost certainly going to be security. Diplomats, like businessmen, are probably going to be in command. I'll get the talents put together and get this published hopefully by the end of the month. I'm not going to make any promises. Look how long it took to get this video out. And that's that on that one, guys. Uh, I think the uh, Great House construction rules are perfect for building the Keths. I will probably build all of the Keths that are in the uh, Decipher Narrator's Guide and Last Unicorns Among the Clans. The beauty of the Keths is if you decide to use them, there are thousands of them, and there's probably about 20 of them that have been named you don't have to use what I've come up with. You can come up with your own if you so desire. But the rules are fabulous for this. And on that note, I'm going to call it a night before something else happens uh, to this computer. Thank you for, uh, for showing up. Thank you for subscribing. Please like the video. 
tell your friends about it, pass the word, and I will see you again soon. Kapla.